Pisces, hey, getting on, guys. We're here to do your reading. Uh, so it's uh, we've changed things up a little bit. If you haven't watched all the rest, it's uh, pretty much a timeless reading from the week commencing from whenever you watch it. So it won't be a weekly reading. It will be an energy reading, and that will take as long as it takes to come into fruition, or it's already happening, or it has happened. If you feel that it's happening, then the progression of the reading will be the future aspect of that. Okay, so it's a timeless reading. You can never predict when it is. It will just relate to you as a story. Okay. Okay. So pretty much as soon as the first card comes out, that'll be the timeline that starts and commences from whenever you watch it. If you find an old one okay, in the future, you can always go to the channel and then find the latest one and continue from that timeline then. okay, That'll be the representation of the timeline. Uh, but at the moment, if you are interested, it's the 8th of January 2020. We will continue on with the monthlies as normal, but the rest of the readings that I ever do will literally be... Uh, timeless weekly readings so uh, if you're up up to date with the channel the timeline will commence from when you watch the reading okay so pisces sun moon rising and venus but i heard choosy picky and choosy choosing and picking picking being feel like someone's being picked on or choose chosen or chosen it's kind of like the chosen one for some of you it's to do with the family dynamic of a child or a parent and it feels like they're like they're the chosen one for something and it feels like someone's trying to get your attention, but you might not see it as fair and just. Because uh, I'm fearing like picking, uh, picking and choosing, picking and choosing, picking and choosing. They keep saying picky, choosy, picky. <laughs> I don't know why. Some of you might have bought a bird. I'm not sure because I keep hearing pecking. But pecking or... Uh, mm, I don't know. But I also heard break, uh, like breaks. Put the brakes on or breaking or breaking away. Take a break away or put the brakes on. Could have something to do with driving, uh, driving skills or driving. So you might be like myself that's just been asked to go back to do a taxi driving run for a while, which is part time, which is what I used to do. So my own readings are actually coming true from before. If you watch the old Pisces reading, but let's see. So Pisces, something rising in Venus. Pisces, show me Pisces from now, please. Pisces, something rising in Venus. Pisces, something rising in Venus. Any Pisces, general energy around Pisces, something rising in Venus from now. Pisces, something rising in Venus. Pisces, Venus. Thank you. They wanted that card, so there's definitely two. There's definitely a decision. Possible Libra. This is standing at a crossroads of contemplation, contemplating which direction do I take? Where do I want to go? Do I want to travel? Literally, you are traveling. You could be a traveling salesman or you just go backwards and forwards to work. But there's definitely a path that has to be chosen. That's what I'm saying, the chosen one. There's a chosen one. There's something to do with that you are the chosen one and you're the person that, that got chosen, okay? So you are the person that got chosen. But for some of you, I'm feeling like chasing, like someone is choosing you, but then it's kind of like I've decided on the other one. I've decided on the other one. I'm not sure why I'm hearing that. I decided to take the other one. I decided to take the other offer. Some of you have been made two offers to do with jobs and you have chosen to take one job and the other one is still there. The other job that you do, if you have two jobs, there's one still there, but you're kind of like ch chosen, chasing, 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 chase, chase. I keep hearing the name chase or place, place, like placing placing a bet, a gamble, but for some of you, okay, sorry, um, but it's that you've got one job, but you've got another job, and you're putting one as president, as president of the, the first job, okay, that's taking your, that you're putting most of your amount of time into. Some of you, you're just doing both exactly, but there seems to be one that's higher up, one offer is higher up than the other, okay, so it's hierarchy, so some, so one of them is probably going to require more time because it's a higher up you're probably climbing the ladder of um or climbing the ladder essentially but also climbing the ladder because i keep hearing like climbing a ladder going up in the company some of you have got your own company and it's behind you and it's here and it's stable and it's right beside you here but then there's also another one another job that you might have where it's right beside you but it's uh you're going up the ladder so so you're already here but you're going up the ladder because i keep seeing this as a ladder and it's a little bit out of balance, <laughs> but you're going up. You're going up, whichever way it is. You'll you'll be you're the chosen one of going up. But I'm hearing that there's something to do with a family dynamic as well as like 
it seems like you're the chosen one. They keep saying the chosen one. And that would have something to do with the child or parenting thing. The chosen one. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus from now. I'll show you Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Continue on this timeline, please, for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus from now. Thank you. So there you go. So fire sign. So a fire sign, you could have a fire sign child here, fire sign child, uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. If it's not a child and you don't have children, that would be your love life. Your love life would more than likely definitely be the person for you is a fire sign. OK, now it's happening quickly, very quickly. OK, sorry, I'm not sorry. I keep moving the camera uh, very quickly. It's happening very, 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 very quickly. OK, uh, it's. This job that you are doing, it's requiring you to do it fast. So if you have two jobs, you're having to do it fast to leave one to get to another to do another one fast. It's kind of like you're, wow, Pisces, what you got going on? You're probably a lot like myself, but you've got like a lot on. It's, it's like fast, fast, fast. It's happening very fast, very fast. Because the two of wands is being asked for a commitment because it's being asked to make a decision. That's what they're saying. And the commitment is, is that you might be asked like to, to either one go in a commitment or you're in one. But if you're not, it's kind of like you're going to be asked if someone can take your hand. So it's kind of like I'm asking for a commitment and I'm asking for a full time relationship or I'm actually asking for your hand in marriage. But I need you to make a decision. What is it that you want? Do you want to marry me? Or do you not want to marry me? Or does your job come first? Or does another person come first, Pisces? Who comes first? <laughs> what comes first? What comes first? But there would definitely be a lot of coming, Pisces, <laughs> right? Who comes first? <laughs> Who comes first? Okay. Because it's always about you, okay? It is. It's always about you. So you always put yourself first. And other people might not like that, the fact that you put yourself first. This person puts themselves first because the first person in, okay? So <laughs> so we're going to come off that one. But um, do you see, the people that always put themselves first, some people might not like it. You see, that's ascension. That's the ego. That's people. That's vibration. There's a lot of vibration here, right? A lot of vibration, a lot of fast vibration. So, as I'm saying, when you put yourself first and you climb the ladder of ascension, you climb the ladder of vibration, you tweak your own life, you know, because people go down the ladder, people go up the ladder. So you're climbing, okay? But I'm hearing uh, an old, ah, uh, wow, an old hymn that we used to do at school, which was, we are climbing Jesus, ladder, ladder, we are climbing, right? We used to do that at school, Someone's going back to school, back to study something. Back, like back. Someone's coming back or going back to something. Let's see. Backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards. Back to work, and then I'm doing my other job. And then I'm going back to work, and then I'm coming home. Some of you, you come home to do your work, and it's homework. You're doing your homework, but some of you work from home, and you're doing your homework, and then you go back to work, meaning that you do something at home, and it's right here, and then you do something where you go back to work, where you're climbing the ladder to make it more successful. So it's kind of like you've got two businesses, one that you run that you're satisfied with, and the other one that you're climbing up even further. So it's kind of like you're climbing the ladder, climbing the ladder. Some of you need to uh, actually climb the ladder and go up in your guttering and get rid of the moss in your guttering. Because I'm hearing moss in the guttering, and if it rains, it's going to pour. If it rains, it pours. Let's see. Uh, so these are general messages of everything that comes through channeled wise Pisces, okay? So let's see. Um, Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Continue on this timeline, please, for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Continue on the same timeline, please, with this story for Pisces. And until the next time I do that reading. Okay, so, well, you've got a few cards out. Uh, I'm not going to take the ones underneath that I can't see, but I did see that one. Okay, but these came out first. So, we're going to take those. So, because I'm trying not to draw too many cards, Pisces, to be honest, because you can really get 
are lost in a lot of energy I can and the readings can be very cluttered so <clears throat> a lot of communication this is a lot of sex and a lot of passion okay now some of you could well be pregnant or you want to be pregnant or you are but you could well be <laughs> or the person could <laughs> shoulda woulda coulda but there's your there's your communication there's your mirrored soul your mirrored soul two and two it could well be more it could be a you see it's libra someone's definitely got libra some of you it's libra this would be libra gemini libra aquarius okay but two is still like piscean uh fire sign um so they would have if they're a fire sign, they would more than likely have air in their chart. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Okay. Fire sign with air. Um, and that would be you as a water sign. You've got a lot of fire. But generally, sorry. So um, there's a lot of communication between you and your soulmate. This is the loving connection that you have. Okay. But you've got two, two, two and two here. So there's two people in it as well as another which is another mother here so there's another person in this which is family so it's either that you are the mother of children or whatever but these are also family members that are very 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 present in your relationship now some of you live with the soulmate if you are in a relationship and you're living with the soulmate here and the person of two and two is possibly gemini libra aquarius and they're also in this relationship okay because it's someone that wants to know where you're going okay this is you as a piscean okay and then this is a family member so if it's you you're wanting to know where another pisces is going if it's you here as a pisces then you want to know where well, i mean you might want to know where your mother's going <laughs> i'm not sure i doubt that one but normally the mother wants to know where you're going or the child wants to know where you're going okay but for some of you this would be a grandparent then that wants to know where you're going as a piscean but they want to know an answer now someone has to be cut out of this relationship because it feels like there's three people here okay that's why this energy is coming through as something needs to go okay so someone's gonna have to make a decision of what's more important now for some of you you have two jobs and this would be your boss which would be a Gemini Libra Aquarius this is the two jobs here okay and it could well be a libra is your boss or your client okay is a libra um but your mo or your parent could be a gemini libra aquarius <clears throat> for some of you or it's all of the above um but generally someone wants to know about this soulmate relationship and they're going to want to know now, if this is you as a woman that's wanting to know about this soulmate relationship, because you're in it, this is the mirror that's pulling everything to these lessons here, very much. It's about communication. It's also about uh, spending time with your Two of Cups person and having that time to free yourself from work and have the time to do it. But there is definitely a mother or a child or someone that feeds here this person is being fed and looked after okay very much so and they've only got one foot there meaning like i can do it myself if i wanted to but i'm going to decide not to in this card okay so whilst i'm waiting whilst i'm waiting this person it feels like i'm waiting on you hand and foot meaning like i'll I'm, i'll do everything <laughs> right as well it means that they want pretty much back in your life so some of you are being looked after by a grandparent or a parent that are there in your life and you've also got your love life going on with your two of cups here but you've also got work but it's a very strange energy around the hangman and the queen of uh, swords which can mean that there's two lots of Pisceans two lots because that could well be two women that are Pisces with Gemini Libra Aquarius in their chart or the or the other way they're Gemini Libra Aquarius with Pisces in their chart somewhere okay uh <clears throat> No. 
not really three there you go so there's three there's three people in it but do not get lost in confusion if you're thinking about someone that's three people if you're thinking about the past partner that's three people generally all of the time you will have stuff coming up in your mind okay that can be three if you're in a third party relationship that's here but you would have to know that you're in one okay uh but three is also the high priestess meaning a pisces and also the hangman which is three is it's 12 which is here so you are in some kind of bind and fixing something like you need to mend something and I think that this is to do with a parenting child kind of situation that the third person here is the mum here here and that would be if you're the mum here that your child would be possibly either a Pisces because it's right next door to a mum here okay if you're another Piscean or your child or your love partner is a Aries Leo or Sagittarius okay and that this person is heading towards asking you to make a decision so they're probably not asking you to make a decision you could well be with them but what I'm saying one of these three people is either three relationship partners or it's a mum and children as well so that means you would have a lot of family karma now the three can also be work is in the way as well it's having to take uh charge because the queen would takes charge she's the one that would own a house as well or own the company You know, relationships, they take work, Pisces. They do. You know, it's not all about a feeling of love. It takes consistency of, of, of uh, living with the person, of living with them, and also work, and also parents and stuff, and also stuff that you like to do yourselves, and like, uh, you know, for, for instance, of music or passion and stuff that you like to do. You have to fit that all in around a relationship. <laughs> you know, so... That's where that three is also coming from. Let's see, Pisces. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Continue on this reading, please, for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. My girlfriend's also just bought me the moment before Tarot Deck, so I haven't used that yet, so I'm going to have to implement that too. Um, let's see. There you go. So the magician then starts to work his magic. Oh no, it's not. I thought that was magician. It's not. I was going to say the the, the, the magician starts to. I didn't said the witch starts to make their magic. I don't know why I said that one. But uh, the queen, the queen of pentacles. Mm, you have got two queens, so it could be a uh, same sex relationship for some of you. And uh, because of that, there can be a lot of heartache that you might. I mean, it can be two men or two women. But if that is there, there might be some difficulty in telling people that that is there, that you know that you might have to tell uh, a family member uh, or the person at work or someone that means a lot to you that there's... Uh, I don't know where I'm coming from with that one. That is there for some... Because that can be um, two people that are, are, are trying to come out and they're trying to tell people through this energy that they're in a, uh, a, um, a soulmate relationship and they're probably trying to tell it to friends and people that they're in a, a soulmate relationship and that they're changing. Um, but this three of swords can be the fact that you have to know that you have to tell a mum. So the child might be, or I'm, I'm picking up now, uh, I might have to tell a mother here or you might have to tell your mother and it's difficult for you to tell your mum or parents that that's going on that you might be in a same sex relationship that's for the people that are okay but if that's not relating to you then what this is is the fact that there are two women which is that there's a mum and also your love interest 
and also you. So that's where this three is for some of you. That it's you, your partner, your soulmate, and also either a parent is there or there's a child there as well. As well. That's if you live with them. But we go into um, the depth of the story when I start to clarify the cards. Because this is kind of telling me what's presently happening for some reason. So the Knight of Cups, you start to... Uh, message. A message. Knight of Cups. Delivered. Something's delivered. Wow. Another Piscean. There's definitely two people that are interested in another Pisces here. Okay. Uh, Libra is definitely involved. Okay. Um, but the Ten of Cups. So another Pisces. But if not, you're headed towards your life partnership here. Okay. But you're also headed towards, again, two and one, which is three. So reconciliation. But you're also headed towards... Um, still this person living with you the, the third person would live with you under the roof here they would live with you so you're headed towards um ten of cups but this three of swords i don't pick it up as a bad energy i just pick it up that there's three people in it but i'm not picking that all up as that, that that's another woman or another man i'm picking it up that that's uh your family that are involved in the three. Because where you're headed is the Ten of Cups. Thank you. Oh dear, see Libra. Libra is definitely here. This, I would say, is well, possibly Gemini Libra Aquarius, but they can also have Libra in their chart. It could be an air sign with an air sign as well. So it could be Gemini Libra Aquarius, but they could have Libra as a Gemini or Aquarius, and they've got Libra in their chart as well. Okay, or it can be a Pisces with Libra in their chart. <clears throat> but again, deciding you've got two two and two 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 and two 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 and two 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 and two 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 so you could now now uh 2020 is here that you could have a soul uh, uh sorry I've, well oh, it could be a life path number but i'm picking it up as um uh personal year number two as a personal year number two and you're going to have a lot of decisions to make through through this year but as it stands this is why these twos are coming. Because it's coming in two by two. Meaning that you might realise through this, well definitely just through this reading, that you've got two things on the go. Two jobs. <laughs> two jobs. That would be a healing year number. Meaning that you're going to have a lot of decisions to make this year yourselves. A lot of decisions. What comes first? So to start the year off, you're going to possibly have your job and another thing of common interest of value that can also be more than two things but two main jobs two main jobs whatever side is out of the main job that you've got i think that there are two paying jobs that pay you money okay um because there's not money here but that doesn't matter but there's two jobs um um if you've got the healing year number two, you're going to have a lot of decisions to make this year over what comes first. Work, children, or love. What is it? Or if you're in a relationship, it's going to be all of them. <laughs> Welcome to my life. <laughs> but you're going to have work, love life, and if you've got kids, if, if you haven't, but if you've got kids, also kids. And family they're all here some of them are all here <laughs> meaning that you're, you're with everybody here under the same roof 10 and there's having to make quite a few decisions but they're really not telling me one of them 
you don't get on very well with. Three and two, that's the fight there. That's the five of swords, that's the fighting. So if some of you are fighting with Charles, okay, here, but I think that majority of this is that you, some of you, it's a parenting thing. Because I can't tell whether you've got children or not. If you haven't got children, you could well be fighting with a parent. Okay, put it that way. Um, because that's definitely someone that you're living with here. Ten of Cups. So there's argumentative energy around you that it's keeping you from like, oh, listen, I haven't got the amount of time to give all of you and focus on my stuff. That's why it's becoming a bit, the energy is becoming a bit like, <laughs> right? There's a lot of two and two. Where your mind is going to be pulled from one direction to another direction, back to another direction to another direction. My love life is here, but I also want to travel and I want to go places. But I've also got two jobs. So when can I fit in my job, my family and where I want to go at the same time? Because I'm also in love. But I also feel stuck at home with uh, my parents or my child if I am the parent. And if I am, I've got a stable relationship here and I'm in love. Okay, but there are definitely three energies in this and it's causing me to analyse and think and possibly fight with somebody because this is two people fighting over things that are even not even there. This person here is oblivious, which can still be you that there's a fight going on. Okay, so there's definitely a fight going on, but someone's like either oblivious to it or, or they just come across that they're oblivious to the fact that you're always fighting, but there's just like constant reconciliation, okay? And you reconcile and then you possibly fight again. And then you reconcile and when you confront each other and the moment that you're in the same room, there doesn't seem to be any space in order to argue. So it feels like there's not a lot of space there for both of you to, to get on the same wavelength. Some of you, you're crowded, it feels like you're possibly overcrowded. Okay, but that's definitely what at home, I would say, or at work, that you're overcrowded at work. Five can mean the Hierophant, so it means work as well. Uh, mm. I think work is overcrowded and you've got a lot on, and it's causing you to do two different things at the same time. <laughs> It's kind of, I've got two jobs. This is all they keep saying. I've got two things on. Two things. I've got my love life, where I'm going and where I'm traveling, but also the parenting thing of that's causing some kind of like, well, where are you going? Well, I'm going to work. Well, okay, well, what time are you coming home from work? Well, I don't know because I'm also going to meet my love life, but I've also got my other job that I want to do. So I don't have time for parenting at the moment if your children are older or if the child's older i don't have time for all that i've only got time for my love life my work and where i'm going and my happiness you know that's generally what it's telling me okay so that's the beginning part we're going to continue on here and then clarify them to tell me what it's really about this is pro possibly presently what's kind of happening is what i'm feeling for this one so we'll see as the timeline continues and what things are really about, okay? Uh, and how it's going to turn out for you. So uh, this will be right up until the next time that I do a reading, okay? Uh, and you can uh, find the link for Patreon below. Uh, if you want a personal reading, you can also find the email and reach out to me for a personal reading uh, or any other multimedia site. There's a load of links towards the bottom that you can follow me on if you wish to. Uh, and I'm going to change things up because I'm trying to study music as well. So... I'm trying to leave myself a bit more time, so I'm trying to catch up, okay? Uh, but I hope you join us on Patreon. Patreon is a really good way of also supporting me so I can continue to just do this, you know? But, you know, so if people do want to join that, the link is there for every reading that I put out, okay? All right, guys, thanks very much, and I'll hopefully see you over there.